Two terabyte external Western Digital My Passport Ultra. It's, hopefully, it's really easy to use because that'd be really good. I'm sure if you can see that, okay. We're hoping that it, it doesn't need a power cord to operate. It just needs like a connection cable because that would really suck if it needed power. Because who has power? Not us. All right, so it comes like. It kind of looks like shrink wrapped chicken or something, I don't really know. <laughs> it's, it's not this plastic -y packaging. Uh, I think it just comes open. Hmm. Apparently an amateur. Oh, there we go. It is like shrink wrapped chicken. It's like open a box of donuts. <laughs> uh, cool. Alright, I guess I would call this a pocket drive. Um, it's about the size of my hand, and uh, amazing they pack a two two gigabyte. I'm guessing it's a solid state drive. And there, Western Digital. Uh, looks like all the uh, access ports are here on the side. So there's that guy. And then uh, they include a cable here. No, oh, it's like it's actually a really unique cable. I'm not sure. If it, it's pretty special, it looks like. It doesn't look like it'll go to anything else that we have, so it's got some SS super special. Uh, it's a USB 3.0, apparently, uh, cable. Looks to a regular USB cable, so uh, let's see if we can plug this guy in here. Uh, before I do that, it comes with a manual. <laughs> it says plug it in. <laughs> apparently, the uh, technical thing to do is take it out plug it in. Alright, good. So that's, that's the kind of technology I like. And then here's all the fine print. Literally, look at that. It's ridiculously small. Uh, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, plug this guy in here. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it goes in. Something like that. And, uh, let's see here. I don't have an extra port on this side, so I'm going to have to unplug my little mouse guy there. No. I guess it goes that way. Looks like it's firing up there. It's got a little blinky light. It's pretty sweet. Definitely fit in your pocket good, so we're pretty stoked to get all this stuff off our hard drives and our SD cards and everything else. Um, cool. It looks like when I plugged it in, if you can come around here. It's already asking me if I want to uh, set up Time Machine or not, so that's a Mac thing, obviously. It's asking me that, so we can use it as a backup disk. Um, so it's an up-to-date copy of everything on our Mac. Hmm. I probably won't use that right now. We're going to try to use this stuff for... Uh, probably going to use this for um, just for photos, but um, let's see if we can find it here. Gosh. All this stuff it's in the way. Um, and I think looks like my passport, so it's over here on the side. Open it up. It's got a bunch of stuff on here, so. Um, looks like you have to eject the disc, so that's good to keep in mind. I'm guessing we'd probably go into like Finder here. And uh, yeah, there's my passport drive. So plug our SD card into the side there and then uh, just copy the files right over there. That's gonna make doing video rendering a lot easier. We've been doing a lot of video work. We're shooting with three cameras, and uh, with the three cameras, I mean, our, our hard drives and SD cards are just chunk full. So um, we're gonna go ahead and use this guy. It's a uh, My Passport Ultra. It actually feels like there's something moving in there, so maybe this isn't a solid state drive. It actually feels like it's spinning, so definitely be careful with it. Um, if it's solid state, you can probably be a little more rough on it, but um, two terabyte, or yeah, two terabyte drive. And uh, 
we'll kind of give you some first impressions after we use it for a little while. So thanks for joining us for this unboxing.